we are going to be doing an unboxing video for you guys right now. I'm going to see what's inside them and I mean, I'm looking forward to using using the stuff in the summer. And uh, well, let's get to it, shall we? Oh yeah. As this ambassador, we're providing you with some fuel and barbecue accessories to get grilling. Each time you use our product, we would be great if you could spend some time taking a few photos to share with us. If you love the photos you're taking, we'll share them on our social media pages, with credit to you of course, and might even send you some more Samba products for your efforts. Um, so you're going to share it on Facebook, Instagram pages, and tag us in your profile posts, the more the better. Well, thank you Samba, look at that, see? You guys know how I love taking my little close-up shots for my videos. And there it is. Thank you Samba. We have got some Samba smoking chips for beef and lamb. A nice box of hickory and mesquite wood chips. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, I'll show you this one here first. Oh look, a nice box of pork, poultry and pork, smoking chips, a blend of apple, mesquite and cherry rinse upside down. Yeah, a blend of apple, cherry and mesquite wood chips for poultry and pork. Awesome. I'm going to enjoy using these too. And got a Samba Gourmet Cookbook, which will come in handy when I uh, do some other cook ups on the Weber or my Ospig. I'm using, looking forward to using the Ospig more. I actually did use the Ospig the other day, I was doing a video, but uh, it didn't work out as how it should do. Yeah, and, the, and the, unfortunately I can't load that video up to YouTube. I'm a bit bummed out about that one actually. But. And a packet of Samba highlighters. These come in really handy. I use those all the time too. We've got here oh, some uh, natural way to light your fire. Made from recycled wood and wax. Fire starters. I'll use those too. Definitely use those. And now this box here, we got this been an awesome. Look at that. Samba barbecue tools. Now I use these all the time. I actually have a. I actually have these. I actually use these all the time now. I've got a, the um, spatula and the, uh, the flat. I've got the flat one, and I've got that one as well. The brush I've lost somewhere, but I still use these are my favourite ones to use. So this is awesome. I like using quality, quality barbecue accessories. Can you have it? Yeah, look at those. Nice. Yeah, definitely going to use these. Look, cut the meat up on that one. I'm actually cooking up some results this afternoon, but. They're uh, on the gas barbecue. Should I do that one? Yep, so thank you there. There it is, man. Awesome. And that is the first box. Right, we'll get to the second box. We're going to, if you guys can, go onto the Samba Facebook page and, and mention. Um, Wicked Digital Media, say so you saw the video and go onto their social media pages there and um, mention mention my cook ups and stuff and how I use their products would be great. Can you guys do that for me? I'd love that. Buddy flies. We're on this box. Oh yeah. Box of Samba Lump. using them charcoal's great. I've had a, got a bag there from a 10 kilo bag of these that I've used but 
is uh, nearly, nearly finished that bag. So I will definitely be using this lump charcoal. Awesome. Look at that. Yeah, nice, nice big lumps too. And we have also got yeah, my favourite, the old hot shots. That's what I used the other day. My barbecue that failed because of something anyway. And also got sent a bag of these from Ivan Robinson. So these are women, seven kilo of hot shots. Love hot shots. Awesome product there. And also have in here a bag of Samba Natural Barbecue Fuel. I mean, I'm going to use all of these. You guys rock, Samba. Thank you very much for sending all this product. Thank you, you really appreciate it. It just so happens that I'm cooking up a barbecue tonight. I was going to do a gas barbecue. I've got some meat patties I'm going to make up and some pork chops, smoky and the smoky rub from pick and spend pork chops. I was just going to do them on the gas barbecue for like a midweek feast, but you know what? Since you gave me this product, see, I'm going to do it on the old trusty, rusty Weber outside. So that's going to be our tea tonight. I'm going to be using your products. I will use the hot shots, the fire starters, and as I normally use hickory wood chips, I think I'm going to use the, the beef and lamb ones. The musket and hickory combination this time. I'm looking forward to trying that out. Yeah, so you guys know what I normally do in your kitchen. So I'm going to use some garlic and herb salt. So not too much salt in there. Should be enough. Our bread rolls here. Our breadcrumbs. Mm. Yeah, bread. The beef mince, a bit to the cat. Bits of rubber. And our breadcrumbs. Onions, all mostly cooked now. We we'll add some pepper. That might be enough there, I think. Your sauce in too. Yeah, you get your hands in there. As long as they're clean. Probably about maybe that size there. Be all right. plate. The old Samba fire lighters. Let's put a put three on here. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a couple of handfuls of these mesquite and hickory chips into a bucket of water. scraper to scrape off 
the last remnants from the last barbecue hut. Look at that. I used to have one of these, but I lost it. Brush. That works pretty good. So I'm not going to cook them over the hot shots. I'm going to smoke them. So I'll keep them as far away as I can from the heat. Just like smoking fish. That's how I like it. Put those on there. Oh, look at that, see? Oh, yeah. Put them on there. Put a few on. Oh, that smells nice already, guys. Right. Lid goes on, and we'll check it in about oh, 10 minutes, quarter of an hour. It's been about 10 minutes, quarter of an hour. Look at a nice colour on those meat patties there. So, what I like to do is just add more chips and, and keep that smoke up. chips to this and there's women rissoles and that pork smells so nice turn these over should put this over here yeah that's better put it back on this out guys Whoa. Good. Whoa. check those out what we're gonna do now is gonna add the bread rolls a bit of bread rolls some cheese Oh, that. oh man, look at that. It's been cooking probably an hour and a half now. Been smoking. Lovely rissoles. Look at that, guys. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got a bit of olive oil, some herb and garlic, salt, seasoning. Cheese. A few more wood chips on there. I think of it about five minutes, they'll be cooked. Cheese is melting. Oh, look at that, see? Mm. Well, we'll get that out. Bad. And there's still heaps of heat that's in those hot shots. It's been probably an hour and a half cooking now. And thanks to my camera person. My daughter. Oh, look at that. Is that good? Oh, 
Oh, look at those. Man, they smell nice. That's hickory and musket wood chips. Thank you, Samba, for doing that. And thanks for my camera person. <coughs> Hands on it, bro. Pork chops are ready. Oh, man. There we are. Oh. Oh, look at that. And here's the old. <coughs> oh, I see what you mean, bro. Handle it. You might put this in here. It can be like smoked cheese hamburgers. It's been smoked on there with these garlic and herbs. Too big. Who did that? Sorry, guys. Yeah. And it's all yours. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Delicious hickory and musket smoked mince burger pizza. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Just ate it, Dad. What's the hair? Let's go back up. Okay. Yeah. This side, the light. No, it's okay. What's the hair? Is a beautiful hickory smoked mince. Uh, <laughs> Just eat it. So here is our beautiful hickory smoked. That's our more time. Hickory. <laughs> which I'm going to eat. I won't tell Aaron about them. I'll eat them myself. Here we go. Nearly ready. Smoke cover away. Catch you guys later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>